What's going on everybody? My name is Chris. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take good photos in Skate 3. Let's get started. Currently I am skating at the El Toro skate set. It's famous, uh, iconic, and I figured it might be a good spot to record this tutorial at. So the first thing we're actually going to be needing to do is get a trick that we can actually get a clip at or, you know, record and do a photo of. So I'm going to just want to do a 50-50 on this rail. There we go, we got the 50-50. We're gonna go back into the replay editor. And I wanna do it a little bit towards the very end. There we go. And so I'm gonna actually use the same focal length at 24 millimeters. And uh, the technique I'm actually gonna be using is uh, where a photo stitching technique that essentially allows you to take portraits or landscapes by merging photos together within Photoshop. Uh, you are gonna need Photoshop for this tutorial and you're gonna need a capture card. Um, I guess theoretically you could do this on with your phone, but you'd still need Photoshop. So unfortunately you guys are gonna need that. Uh, but nonetheless, so I'm gonna pick my middle angle that I want the photo to look like. And I wanna, some of the stair set now this, for normally for the spot, you'd wanna get probably a really wide angle and show the massiveness of this. But nonetheless, uh, so we don't want to get too much dead space. So I'm going to be doing a portrait style for this So we're gonna actually so I picked my spot and then now we're gonna actually have it up now Obviously, it's out of frame and what I'm gonna do is click screenshot and my recording software I think most of them do have this um, If not you can take a video and do stills and we're gonna scroll down just slightly and So we still have that reference stuff And I think yeah, there we go. So now we're gonna do another snapshot make sure you don't have anything on screen we're going to scroll down a little bit more and we're make sure we're just moving on the y-axis we're not moving on the timeline at all we're just moving down our basically just tilting our camera it's locked in position we just are able to angle it up or pan it up and down so now i did it there now we'll do the same thing right here we're going to click screenshot and we'll do another one and the more you do this uh the more detail you will have and then it gives more visual information for the Photoshop to actually get. So that's why you want to take as many as possible. So you have a, good, a lot of for a lot for the software to recognize. And so we'll click a uh, screenshot there. So for the next photo, before I get into the Photoshop tutorial, we're going to be doing a wide landscape image. Uh, so you can do these really cool panoramic photos. So we'll just do, I know we'll, it'll be a double flip, but to the photo, it'll look like a uh, kickflip so even though it's not the best looking uh trick and we can how about we'll do a kind of a weird angle but uh nonetheless uh that won't be interesting we want to make sure the image looks kind of cool and i think this would look the coolest right here so now i have my x plane is locked and or my y plane we're not going to move it we're just going to pan it from left to right and it is does get a little bit tricky but nonetheless so we'll have it right there so we'll click uh, screenshot and we'll do the same process, but we're just scrolling it over to the right. And we'll do another one. And the nice thing is um, with the data it has, it'll actually replace that LS show uh, sign, uh, except for the last image on the right or on the bottom, depending on what you do, uh, which is really cool because it allows you to get that data and so you don't have to kind of hide it in your photos. So now I got our panoramic photo and now we'll get into the Photoshop portion of the tutorial. So right now I have the screenshots each in their own individual folders just to organize it. But what we're going to do is file, automate, we're going to do photo merge. And uh, so now we're going to browse and uh, we're going to do the portrait first. And we're going to click all of these images, click open. And we're going to want to make sure that the collage option is selected. We're going to blend the images together. We're going to click OK. And there we go. So now we have this really cool, weird image. And there is some kind of messed up flaws right here. But other than that, though, it's not too bad. And so now I have the cropping option. And you basically can do this is all up to you after this part. So I just obviously want to kind of crop that out. Uh, we'll get this bottom piece and uh, there we go. So now we have our, our portrait, which is pretty cool. And I can take this into uh, Lightroom or whatever you want to do to do the edits to it. For the panoramic image, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do photo merge and we're going to click browse, load all of these images. We're going to do open. And uh, what we're going to want to do now is actually the reposition uh, reposition uh, setting. And we're going to click OK, let the computer do all of its magic. 
and there we go so it does look a little bit funky uh we did have some mess up areas right here uh so it wasn't perfect but uh nonetheless it still i think came out fairly decent and so now i have this really cool panoramic image and uh what i'm gonna do actually is just crop this in a little bit uh, plus there's just some dead you know it's just some dead area over here that doesn't really matter uh so we're gonna scroll up a little bit and we'll move this down just slightly and there we go, so now we have our panorama. It looks really cool, you get a lot of data and you get a little bit more of a wider perspective uh, for your images. I hope you guys found that tutorial helpful. Uh, I haven't done photography stuff in a while, especially in Skate 3, it's kind of fun and creative, it's something different to do. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and my name is Chris. I will see you all again soon. Peace.